Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Templar Battle Force. We are in a secure zone, which is uh, in orbit on the Righteous Fallen after a successful but uh, highly interesting mission last time. So let's deploy and see what they have for us. All right. This is where we're going to walk around and... Um, Get some information before our next mission. Prince Tarkeen, I am surprised to see you here on the deck of the Righteous Fallen. Honored Templar, it is good to see you again. I am here on behalf of the faction princes and leaders, lobbying for a new accord with the Templar Order, so that we may all be as effective as possible in our defense. The Templars are to become a part of our faction military organization. Uh, I must try to hide my displeasure. The mech helps. The Templar Order has always been an independent martial order fighting for the good of all of our people and factions. Yes, but those were in different times. You are now so few. Perhaps I can further explain our case. Uh, what benefits do you see? Oops, oh, sorry about that. What benefits do you see of integrating the Templar Order and your military? We need to utilize the strength of the Templar Knights, and only the Princes have the intelligence and wide-reaching goals to put that strength to full use. As you saw on both Galantia Cross and Rikert Prime, your Templar Knights were a perfect complement to the faction military forces. You Knights are the most elite strike force in our fledgling quadrant. There are dangers and risks at every turn. However, while you are ruled by your own autonomous leadership, the factions cannot rely upon your strength, only hope that it will be available. If the Templars are spread into the faction militaries, assimilated into our organization, what things we could do together? We are already spread thin, we are too few. Splitting the Templars into the military organization of the Princes, we would be isolated in tiny clusters. I hold my tongue. Patience is a virtue our ancestors learned long ago, and it has been passed down in abundance. Oh boy, which princes are behind this request? There is broad-based support for this new accord. Many of the senior princes have given me their support. As the founding continues, there are many new junior princes being appointed to the new worlds. Almost every junior prince with whom I have shared the directives of the new accord, their support has been strong. However, for a number of reasons, I am not at liberty to mention my princely supporters by name. For their own protection, you understand. Well, that was a lot of mumbo-jumbo just to deny that question. Don't you think? All right. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Oh, what of Prince Tarkeen? The Templar Command will handle his diplomatic re request. He is a distraction. We must focus on the important things now. Yeah. Uh, what role must the Templars now play? Now more than ever, we must watch th for threats from without and within. None of us believe the cult of Shelgroth is truly dead, and we know it will only be a matter of time before the Taraxino return. Oh, boy. Uh, we must rely on the Star Traders to explore the nearby space for threats. If we had not lost the Air Prima, perhaps the Righteous Fallen would have risked exploring nearby space. However... We must stay near the core worlds and protect the factions in case the Terox returns. The Star Trader captains are our explorers and merchants at heart. They are already doing a commendable job at charting our new quadrant. Oh, uh, yeah, where's Naira? Naira is missing now for too long. She left on a mission to investigate those anomaly readings, the ones Chief Scientist Muriel Thrall brought with her from the Ferrari Lance. Those two struck up a fast friendship, and Thrall's claims worried Naira greatly. She left more than two months ago on the Dread Falcon. She is overdue. The space travel to Leo Major is long, but we must find her, her squad, and the Dread Falcon. The most pressing concern is the safety of Paladin Redin, Redon and uh, her squad. We Templars are too few to lose such a set of valuable people. Naira is not one to be tardy. Exactly. It seems that trouble is the only explanation for her absen absence. Oh, what assignments do you have for my battle force major? This is not good. This is a lot of political BS. It's just going to just screw everything up. Sorry about that. 
Priority must be put on finding and rescuing Naira and her squad. I must ask your battle force to take the trip to Leo Major in search of the Dread Falcon and the Paladin. All right, let's go get Naira back. Screw these princes. Let's deploy to Leo Major to find and rescue Naira. She isn't the kind to need rescuing, but she must have gotten in over her head this time. I will assign Sergeant Kathos to your team, and you'll be taking the spear cutter. We don't have many vessels that we can spare. Twenty-three colonies already, and every Templar is strapped. But this is critical, Captain. Death before dishonor, Major. We will find her. Leo Major. Dead world claimed by Prince Tarkeen of the Reichert Syndicate. The Dread Falcon floats in calm orbit around Leo Major. It is Naira's ship, but there is no sign of the Paladin or her squad. Hailing frequencies crackle, but there is only silence. We are far away from the core worlds now. We've been a month in the Spear Cutter. Whatever happened to Naira, whatever we must do, we will have to do it unassisted. Our approach and the scans bring worse news. The only detectable life signs aboard the Dread Falcon are Terox Xeno, and there is a Terox Spore attached to the outer hull. We have no option but to go aboard seeking clues. Where is Naira Redon? Redon. Okay, here we go. Dread Falcon. All right, multiple life signs have been detected. Uh, however, I think it's just going to be Xenos. We'll go in. The halls of the Dread Falcon are abnormally quiet. The ship groans occasionally and there is the distant rumble of the void reactor. But there is no life here. Not human life, at least. Captain, the sensor kits are warming up. As suspected, there are Xeno aboard this Templar ship. Any signs of human life? None, Captain. We have to find out what happened here. We've managed to break into the lower cargo hold. There are three main terminals where we will be able to recover the ship's log. The second terminal will be hardest to reach in the far southeast. The central terminal is the closest. Once we have the data, we, we, we can retreat to the spear cutter and plan our next move. From inside the ship, we'll be able to use the main airlock. Let's move quickly. Every minute we spend on this deck increases the danger. Oh boy. All right. Uh, let's take a roll call here. We've got uh, Cap Captain Mortem, Daylon, Idris, and Martius as our scouts. Now, uh, it looks like I can swap out one of the scouts. Uh, hmm. Well, let's uh, let's swap out Martius. I'd like to have another soldier here. Or maybe an engineer. I'm not sure. Uh, this is a hit and just we're just trying to get to these things as fast as we can. So let's go with uh, yeah, let's go with Riley. All right. I don't know if that's going to be the wisest thing or what, but let's head over to this central. Uh, First objective here, Central Command Console. All right, here we go. Moving forward. Let's get the show on the road. I'm going to move up a little bit with each of these guys, and then we're going to take a picture of what is ahead. With the two soldiers, at least, I have the ability to do an overwatch in front and behind us. All right, how many movement points does everyone have left? We'll just get everybody up one more. All right, Idris, let's take a picture of what's ahead here. Exceeds maximum. There we go. <clears throat> All right, let's take one more. Go right. 
Hmm. Let's see what's going on up north. Okay, boy, this is a lot of wide open territory that's not looking good right now. Alright, turn to. Well, so far our cap is four. And the set, we have a secondary objective. We should explore the ship in search of other clues or supplies. <laughs> yeah. Yep, we'll do that. I think there's uh, something up here, though. We might be able to take advantage of that. All right, let's move up. All right, everyone has six movement, and then I can increase the scout's movement by two with overdrive. So let's move up, back out a little bit. Alright, we're going to go up and around because I think I want to check this out right here. Alright, let's take one more picture. Let's take one more look at what's going on here. Right up here. Getting a little nervous. I haven't seen any, any Xenos. It's not never a good sign when they're not detectable. Okay, turn three. Let's move up here. The supplies stockpiled here were clearly readied for an away mission. Someone was planning to go to the surface of Leo Major, but they ran out of time. The supplies were left, so we might be might as well use them. Uh, we've recovered a miter meditech ordinance that we can use to repair battle wounds. We've completed that secondary objective, five experience points. Okay. Now, I'm going to keep everybody together still. And we're going to move around to this first objective after we take a look at what's going on. Okay, got a Xeno. All right, here's what we're going to do. Boy, this is. This is our extraction point. These are our other two main objectives. So basically what we're going to do is a big circle. Just like that, probably. That's wonderful. You out of movement? Yes, you are. Can you fire? Nobody can fire. What's your range? No, nope, not even that. Okay. All right, we got a hunter moving around. That's the only one. It's the only one I see. So let's keep moving forward. Yeah, you 182. Wow, Dalon, you're the, you're the beefiest one here. You've got more hit points than everybody else. Now put the scout in the center. Riley. Alright, what's everybody's movement? we got one more left, so we'll get everybody up. Okay. take a picture of what is up here. All right, first objective. There they are. Now I'm feeling a little better. We've got skitterings. zero. Of course it is.
why I do not like single file pathways. All right, we've got a radiated skittering. We've got broodmother. And this guy way up here, a lancer. Okay. No problem, no problem. Let me get around here. All right, first ship's log is recovered. We'll need more time to do an analysis, but the ship has been dormant for over a week. Why did you leave, Naira? All right. Maybe she's not falling for the bullshit these princes are spouting. Okay. Who's got movement? There's three, one, two, and zero. So everybody's out of movement. And my original plan was it's still going to look like we're going to have to do this. We have one medikit. And it looks like there's something over here. I'm not sure what that is, but let's uh, get our eye on the sky. Maybe some supplies? Maybe not? I don't know. All right. What's this? Don't know what that is. And we'll do one overwatch right here. Yep. Comes that Lancer, we got a skittering, not a problem. Oh, there's nothing there, all right. Again with the single file. Oh, you're done. Okay. What about you? We can put you here. Here. All right. <clears throat> so let's take a look down here as far as we can. Another wide open hallway. What about you? Okay. Elon, just put a uh, overwatch right here. And Riley, I think we're good. Good, turn eight, turn eight. Let's get everybody. All right, you got six. So in the, the guy in the back, Riley, one, two, three, four, five, six. He'll be able to move up to here. So we're going to get everybody situated. And then we'll uh, take some shots here. I'm going to take, take one round here. And then we're going to take a picture of what's straight down this hallway. Okay, now let's get everybody set up here. Um, all right, Riley, we're gonna do an overwatch here. Daylon, we are gonna do one right here. Whoa, I didn't expect that. Of course, there's a spawn area right there. I should have known. Hmm. Everybody keep moving. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'll take one shot at you. And 
you are gonna fire once. And I'm gonna take this overwatch. We're gonna do both right here. One there. And one there. All right, Scout, what do we see? Okay. Defensive, defensible area right here, just in case we get rushed. And there's the pathway up to that uh, next objective. All right, turn 10. These turns are going by fast, okay. All right, so we can have the scout run up and then we can uh, cover this area. That should work uh, just fine. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, we're just gonna bring everybody straight down for now. And I don't even think I'm gonna do any uh, overwatch because we're gonna save some heat. Heat's building up a little bit. Yep, see Idris is already Oh boy. Might uh so oh, that heat. See that's that's the thing I've I don't think about it unless I actually look over at the heat, so we do have to keep track of this. So Alright, let's just end it right here. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Alright, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's put you in overdrive and get you up here. Excellent. Uh, another ship's log. Secure. There was a flurry of, of activity a week ago, and the crew abandoned the Dread Falcon right before the Xeno broke into the hull. She could have stayed and fought. She had Templars with her, but there was something that was more important. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Conspiracies. Okay. All right, so we've got to objective number two. Now we're heading west. The scout's pretty much done. Although I could put uh, put Idris in overdrive and get a, a couple of movement points for here, but uh, you know what? I'm not going to worry about that. We're going to start heading this way. Okay, but uh, yep, interest is done. All right, let's establish. I know the heat's building up, but we're going to establish an overwatch here. And yeah, we're going to do one here. There. A little buff. A little buff never hurts. All right. Let's get the scout out of that area. You know, day long. You're at 150, you're at 150, 172. Let's move Mortem up. Hmm. Yeah. No. Okay. There's a spawn point right there. 
Got any more movement? Anybody? Anybody? Okay. So at least we can cover. Uh, your heat's doing pretty good here. Yep. Right there. Okay, I see two Xenos all the way to the west. I'm just going to keep moving forward. There they are, there's one of them. Cannot use a talent. We are overheated. Hmm. Let's try that. All right. Oh, you're out of range. But we can set up an Overwatch, which we're going to do. But only one. just need to get up onto this railing and over to this console. Come on. <clears throat> oh, Idris, you're still overheated. <clears throat> okay, we're going to leave you right there. We're not going to do anything with you here, but we're going to take care of this this guy. I don't trust your fist. <laughs> Alright, let's get everybody that can move up here. Nope, you're done. Alright. I don't know... There's the extraction point. It's way in the hell up there. I think, uh, I think I'm not going to do an overwatch right here. We're just going to in the turn, save a little bit of heat, and then we'll keep moving. Oh, Idris is still taking damage here. Alright, let's get this thing activated. There we go. Last ship log from the flight control. Dropship descended to the planet a week ago. The documented schedule state that Naira a few Templar Knights and Mariel Thrall were to go. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. All right. Idris, I know you're overheated. Can no oh God. Can't use that eye in the sky thing. Riley's stuck. How far is your overwatch? Right there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, we're still gonna wait. Alright, Idris, good. You're down at least. So, you know what? Uh, we're going to move. See, I, I'd like to have a picture of what's at least up ahead, but I can't see too far. We're going to do one. Alright, we're moving this way since I can see it. But we're going to keep everybody together. So, we're going to move right up to this uh, spitter. And then we'll establish our. Oh, you almost made it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Good, yeah. Eat this. Okay. Yep, yep you are in range. It's one less thing to worry about. Okay. Establish overwatch here. 
And where's Riley? All right. No, nope. but we're going to do this. Hmm, right. Right there. And we can start moving up. Ah, see? Dirty bugger. Right around it. It's time to get out of here. We've recovered two reactor uh, jolt ordnance kits that we can use to temporarily increase the speed of a leviathan. Huh. Okay, so what is that? Buffs with plus two movement for four turns. But does that uh, cancel out the heat, or do we just use our heat uh, the same? just gives us two extra movement. I don't know. Some of these people, it might be dangerous to have extra movement. Look at that, Riley's overheated. Oh, all right. Ventress, let's take a picture. Okay, so we have, now I have a somewhat clear path almost all the way up that I can see. All right. Everybody's going to have to stay together. Let's just, uh, we've got two movement here, two, one, and zero. Daylon, you're not heated at all, so I'm going to put yours overwatch down there. Okay. So now we just have to make it back to the extraction point. We've got a squad of Xenos up ahead that are looking really tough. It might be grenade time. All right, let's get everybody up here somewhat close. Boy, managing this heat sure is a, it's a challenge. Okay, Riley's still overheated. Uh, Idris is back under the level, but that's not... All right, first grenade. Yeah, let's try it one more time. Got a grenade? Yeah, we'll use one. Okay, all right, we took them out. How many movement points does everyone have left? One, so let's move up one. All right, these guys are too far away to worry about right now. I can't really see too far ahead, but let's take a picture. All right, we're just moving. a hunter. We've got a uh, hunter and a skittering up north. We've got a skittering directly down south. Off to the side down here I see a carapace. That's all right. We have another single file, small area where there's single file here. We're just going to head into that. What do we have here that we can do? Okay. Riley, you're still overheated. Daylon, you're not doing too bad, but I hope this skittering this this skittering comes down here. Uh, Mortem can counterattack, so let's. Uh, we are going to leave it like that. Nobody on Overwatch. We're trying to save some heat. We're using up enough heat just from moving. And you went around. Unbelievable. You had a clear path and you went around. Did you see that? All right. Let's keep moving. Hmm. Oh, 
one shot. That's good. What else can we? Do? What else can we do here? Really? All right, Daylon, let's do an Overwatch right down here, since you guys are gonna be like that. And I'll take your 97. Yeah, not gonna waste the heat. Not gonna do it. Here we go. There we go. Walk right into that, please. All right, everybody keep moving up. We'll get up here and then we'll take a picture. I think we can continue moving up north. Look at these guys in their heat. Just unbelievable. Okay. Can we look up? There we go. All right, that's our path right there. And Riley's overheated, but these guys are too far away. This one might be able to come around, but not going to do it in time. So again, I'm not going to put any overwatch on anyone. But, uh, Next turn, if I remember, I'm going to try to remember to buff everybody at the beginning of next turn, so let's do that. Alright. Let's do right here. And everyone's going to move. Overheated, overheated. That's all right. Let's do, I don't think you're in range. Nope, but we can do an overwatch. Riley, you're overheated. We're not gonna, not gonna mess with that. Okay, we're getting flanked here. Mortem, you're just, all right. Uh, do this. Three, four, all right. Dylan, put you here. I might risk an overwatch from both of them. Let's uh, hang on before I do that. Okay, that's a nice little spawn area right there. So what I'm going to do is set up an overwatch down here and then one here. But let's see if we can take, take this uh, irradiated skittering out of the mix. Okay. All right. Uh, Daylon. Since you, whoa, your heat's built up too. Well, we're going to send your overwatch here. And then Riley will put yours right there. Okay, not too bad. All right, everybody keep moving. Oh. Okay, we have the records we came to get. If we had time, I'd love to see this Templar ship purged of the Xeno. But wherever Naira and her squad have gone, they need our help. I'm lining up at the main airlock now, Captain. Ooh, look at that, victory. Four veterans, 24 turns with a goal of 20. Ah, just missed it again. 31 kills, two secondary objectives for 10 extra experience points. So we have a 91 XP and 81 RP. Uh, Idris, our scout, leveled up. Dread Falcon. Good job, guys. All right. Leo Major. At the abandoned Dread Falcon. Naira Radon has gone down to the planet's surface, but why? 
We have found few answers among the Dread Falcon's logs. One event sticks out. Upon entering orbit, the Dread Falcon was hailed by a Reichert strike fighter. When the captain realized there were Templars on board, he fled. Prince Tarkin, what is he hiding here? Shortly after, Naira and her squad went planet side. A xenomorph spore attached itself to the side of the Dread Falcon in the days following. The skeleton crew who stayed behind jettisoned in an escape shuttle. We've traced Naira's landing plan to the surface of Leo Major. We've located a crash site. We will have to find her on foot. Yeah, the plot thickens. All right. Interesting mission, successful. And we're next next episode. We're going to head to uh, the surface of Leo Major, in search of Naira and the other Templars, and to find out what the hell is going on around here. All right. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Uh, I appreciate the views. Hope you're enjoying the series, and we'll catch you later.